Hey kids, Inverted Cow here. Welcome back to Space Haven. Uh, I've had a couple of questions about certain gameplay mechanics and such like that on this channel. And I try to explain things as best as I can in the, uh, in the comments and such below. But I figured, you know what? It might even be easier to um, just show you. So we're going to start uh, a new game. We're just going to do um, a tutorial type thing here. And we're going to set the difficulty builder. Uh, builder level starts with resources found in the galaxy. You'll face some travels, blah, 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 blah. Peaceful, I think, is... Where is the, um, I thought there was a creative build. We'll, we'll take peaceful, I guess. That's the easiest thing we can do. I'm not even going to worry about the crew. <clears throat> okay. We are here in the starting sector of... Oh, I forgot these. I don't want these open. Yeah, just delete this garbage. Uh, we're here in the starter sector where uh, you begin. Um, now, the first question I had, uh, what I want to try to... Can we never... Oh, whatever. I'm going to have these stupid pop-ups. They're just never going to go away. Um, the, the question I had that we... Uh, I w wanted to answer today was the whole thing on uh, ship points. So you start with a ship, um, a little two by two ship, and this is your thing. Now, if you just trash that, okay. So I'm using currently ship points zero of of eight so I have eight out of eight ship points total uh, if you want to build a new ship you could have um, any combination of ships up to eight points so if you really wanted to you could have a whole fleet of little one by one ships. There we go. <clears throat> you could have eight single ships if you wanted to. That you could build. Um, it doesn't matter how you want to, to build this. And now if you wanted, as you see down here in your sizes, you can build, um, you can build a one by two or a two by one. These ships would look like this. Okay. Uh, you can build a three by one or a, a one by three. Again, these ships look uh, like this. Now remember, you're only allowed eight in total. Okay. The other one you can have is two ships that are the two by two system. So you could have this, where it would be two of these. 
And then finally, you could have the new 2x3 ship, which is what I have on my current playthrough, which is this. And then you still have enough left over for a 1x2 ship. So you could have two 1x1s or a 1x2. So again, your combinations, any combination could be uh, two two by twos, a three by two and a two one by two, uh, eight one by ones, uh, you could have a one by two twice, so you could have four, uh, one by two or two by ones um, like this. You can have a three let's see if I can do these the starting sector is very poorly laid out. You could have a combination of two one by threes with a one by uh, one by two or two one by ones. And then finally you could have the the new three by two and two one by ones or a one by two. Um, if you want to uh, create or if you want to grab another ship after this, you have to abandon enough sh enough of these squares to recapture something. Now, because you start with the uh, start system in this in this thing you start with the one ship this little platform uh, it doesn't count that in your ship points for the build if however uh, I work back into the system and I have all of these little ships I cannot capture this now if you come on a derelict that is a capturable derelict you also cannot pick that up because you already have all eight points used. Um, if you wish to take this uh, derelict, for example, you would have to do is come in with your main ship, right, and have a smaller subsidiary ship, like a little uh, a one by one or one by two that you could use transfer your crew off of your primary ship onto your little onto your your secondary ship jump the secondary ship out of the system jump back in so you just you literally leave the system return to the system and then build your little um or capture your little uh, uh what do you call it salvage salvageable craft and you can salvage that ship you cannot have that salvage ship added to your fleet with a full ship involved so if you've already got eight points used you can only have one more and that's that's all it's going to cost okay system points which was the other question i had Every ship has system points. Okay. What those mean is in your build menu. And I don't know if I can show it because I probably don't have all of the things. But say, for example, you were going to build one of your ships here. Okay, so we'll just grab a hull and for the sake of, of things we'll just build our ship. Now you're building your ship and you're going along and all things are well and you want to start putting in objects. You go into system everything certain certain things have um, ship points I guess that's what they were called right? System points Okay, for a one by one square. So each one of your squares, 
can have four points. So every square has four points. Now, various items, for example, your hull stabilizer requires two points. Okay, now I don't think I can actually show it on this build because, of course, I don't have a hull to work with. But if you want to put your hull stabilizer down, this will require two ship points, which means you have two points left to use. Now, the only other things, everything else that uses ship points, of course, are all your weapons. So your turrets each use two points. Your shield uses two points. Your scanner uses two points. Uh, your targeting jammer uses two points. And I believe that is everything. Scanner, shields, energy, targeting, and weapons. Uh, so all of these items up here, basically everything in this tech tree here, uh, everything in this tech tree to these uses points, except for the advanced research, of course. So your sh weapons, your shields, your scanner, your targeting jammer, all, all use two tech points, as well as your hull stabilizer that you start with. Um, you can use up to, for every square of your ship, you can use up to four tech points or four system points. Uh, of course, each system, each thing requires two points, which means basically you could have on a ship, on one of your ship hulls, you could have two items. Uh, so every one square of your ship hull, you can have two items. So plan that accordingly when you're building your fleet. If you want a ship that is a three by three, of course, that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve points that you can have on a three by three, where a two by two, a little two by two like this, can only have two four, six, eight points. So you could only have a certain number of items. Mind you, a one square thing can only have two items. So I could literally only have a hull stabilizer and a gun or a shield, a shield, a hull stabilizer. You can't have multiples. Uh, there is no way to alter that uh, legitimately within the game. I'm sure if you were to start trying to play around with modding and, and altering the game code and such like that, you might be able to. Uh, not sure if that's going to help or not. Uh, so hopefully that was a reasonably understandable explanation of ship points and system points and that sort of thing. Now, of course, the game itself you know, as you progress through the game, whatnot, you will still encounter things like small ships to, to take over, uh, ships to build, things to expand on, so on and so forth. Um, best strategy for the game is entirely up to you. How do you want to play it? How do you want to enjoy it? But I hope that explains the, under, at least gives you some understanding of system and ship points and I hope I answered the question uh, clearly for you. Uh, thanks all for watching kids. Hope you're enjoying Space Haven. Next episode we'll go back to our gameplay as normal. If anybody has any other questions about how the game works maybe I will try to answer them as well. I really enjoy that uh, that kind of um, that kind of question. How do I do certain things and I will try my best to try to explain them to you. Um, so thanks for watching and good day for now.